so finally i managed to boot one ui 5.0 on my device i mean a lot of things i have tried so far and a lot of users wanted to try one ui on their devices as you can install gsi and this one your gsi is actually booting and i have booted it on redmi note 8 and if it is good for dairy driver of course not yes you can simply boot it and you can fix bugs and you can use it on your device but if you don't know about gsa anything then what you need to do is you can simply install this thing and check out the things features etc nothing more you can simply check out this video for more information about one ui 5.2 because on xiaomi devices first time ever i have tried one year even i have tried one year 5.0 first time ever after installing this gsa for the first time we have only these approximately seven apps pre-installed some samsung apps called clock contacts messages etc but not much things quick settings panel which may be notification panel you can consider things are quite impressive the blur etc looks super good you can get this quick settings panel by using any other you can get this notification shade by using power shade app from the play store on any device so yes it's just okay it's definitely okay but the thing is default is default and this is samsung ui samsung one ui 5.2 samsung one ui has a lot of features by the way a lot of features have been included and which are those features i talk about all those things and first of all which features i actually like i will only talk about all those features not much not every feature because it will take a lot of time here we have uh, some uh, the major things in which are working or not working in gsi if you use gsi on your device the thing is the calling etc is working partially or maybe not working i'm just actually not sure because when i tried calling first time as you can see it's showing as it's the calling is connected etc but actually it's just not working at all but yes you can give it a try if you want to it's just totally up to you the thing which i found here is these notifications you know that these are the very good looking notifications which you have in samsung and you can consider it as dynamic island which was introduced a long time ago this includes a new effects colors a lot more things have been there in the terms of customizations and yes if you compare it with xiaomi um i think so it's okay okay not a big deal you can see you can use this brief or detailed i mean heads up notifications you want or this brief this pop or maybe water drop kind of notifications actually looks quite impressive we also have some options related to lock screen you can even customize the fonts the same things available with xiaomi too so base right now oem device oems are giving you a lot of customization options you can even use bold fonts if you want to things are quite impressive although i am not a fan of one ui so i don't use much but still a lot of users actually want to use for me i am not using samsung device i'm not gonna buy samsung device i don't know why because maybe of no development no major development this also includes some galaxy themes which is quite impressive in some cases it's not that good if you compare it with the xiaomi it's my personal opinion of course here we have dual messenger which of course in gsa it's not working there but the thing is it includes some motions and gestures and these are quite good i'm just talking about some of my favorite features in one ui although i'm not talking about the things which are working or not because this is this is just a gsi so which vendor you are using for your device and things like that which will give you the idea that how the gsi will work for you but nonetheless this is just normal thing if you want to use it you have all the samsung apps available i mean most of those clock contacts we have messages all these from samsung yes you want to install these samsung apps on your devices you can i made a video on my hindi channel that how you can get these samsung apps on your device same like that these are some settings which we have for example let me show you one more thing if i take check out the power menu okay it's not set it up yet let me move on by going on here this is a power menu and to be honest i actually love this power menu i don't know why but this power menu actually looks quite good and the thing is you can customize this power menu option yes this is good you can even customize this you can simply customize the power of thing if you want to use the power of button for that or like that restart power of etc let me give you the brief idea that how you can install this thing on your device the first thing you need to do is you need to wipe some partitions especially for using redmi note 8 except when 
render you need to wipe all and yes if you're using dynamic partitions device unfortunately this guide will not work for you after the, uh, simply formatting or doing this thing install the image file img file and then format data done and which room you should be on in my case i was using pixel os android 13 so you can give it a try if you want to so this is all about today's short and simple video thanks for watching and goodbye